If you're moving your show file from console to console, then you may run into a situation where you are using a group of DP2000s one night and then DMX processor 8000s on a different night. In these situations, you'll need to update your patch to reflect the hardware that you're actually using. This is done pretty easily using the clone DP function. From your fixture window, click View by DP. In this show file, my outputs are patched to a DP8000. By clicking the Universe Selection buttons, I can scroll through and see that I've patched to universes 1 through 6. Let's say that I need to change my output mapping from one DMX processor 8000 into two DP2000s. Start by clicking Clone DP. The Source section of this window will list all currently patched DMX processors. Here's my 8000. The Destination side is where I will select a DP to clone to. If your DMX processor is not listed, you can use the Add DP button to add it. I want to add a DP2000 and I will leave the number as 2. Because a DP2000 only has four universes of DMX, I'll need to select which four universes of my DMX processor 8000 to clone. I can easily clone another four universes to another DP2000 later. I'm going to clone universes 1 through 4 to DP2000 number 2. If you want the universe information to be moved rather than just copied, you can choose Unpatch Source, which will unpatch universes 1 through 4 on your DMX processor 8000. If you already have fixtures patched on your destination DP, then you'll need to decide if you want to only unpatch the conflicted addresses or if you'd rather unpatch all. This is a new DP, so there won't be any conflicts because nothing's patched yet. Now I'll click Apply and universes 1 through 4 have been cloned. I'm going to repeat the process to add universes 5 and 6 to a second DP2000. Click Add DP, Add DP2000 number 3, select universes 5 through 8 as my source, and click Apply. Now my cloning is done. If you'd like to remove unused DPs from your show file, you can now do this in your network window. Right-click on the number of the DP that you'd like to remove and select Remove Node. The console will ask for your confirmation if you have anything patched to the DP before deleting it. 